I'll be showing you how to attach an external angle to an external corner and plaster it up. The tools you'll need is a ladder, your external angles, a straight edge, a stapler, nails, a hammer, tape measure, a trowel, safety gloves, eyewear, a sanding block, tin snips and also two strippers. In addition, you'll need a hawk, base coat, a bucket and also some top coat and the ladder. So the first step is we need to check whether our wall is straight. So we grab the level, put it onto the edge of the corner and just check for gaps. If there's any gaps there, then the external angle needs to be adjusted. So there is a gap at the bottom and we need to adjust the external angle to suit. Doing so, you squash the external angle up a little bit together so that it takes up any of the bend in the wall. The next step is we measure the height of the wall. So we cut the external angle at the 2600. A good idea when you're cutting the external angle is to cut the ends on a 45 degree angle. And we saw that there is, there is a gap at the bottom. So what we do is we squash the external up slightly so it takes up any of the slack where the stud is bent. Now I'm going to attach the external angle to the external corner. Always make sure that your external angle is at least 10 millimeters off the ground, just so that there's, if there's any movement on the floor, that your external angle will not crack. So we place the external angle to the straightest point on the corner, which is roughly in the center. So we place it firmly, put placing pressure in the middle with your staple gun or with your fingers, then placing a staple where the hole is. You place it there just to pin it. Once the external angle is pinned, then we take our straight edge. So placing pressure on this point of the external angle, we ensure that the line of the external angle follows the straight edge. Then we proceed to do the other side. I'll show you how to pin the rest of the external angle, just in case you don't own a staple gun. So we grab our straight edge, putting pressure on this side of the external angle, the opposite side of where the straight edge is, placing it on the edge of the circle on the external angle, just pinning it into the plasterboard. You can drive it right home to the stud. It takes a lot more practice, however, if you're a beginner, just tap it into the plaster. Now that my externals are in position, the next step is to mix up a base coat. For this process, because you've got two externals, you're going to need at least three quarters of a bucket. So we'll do that now. So now that I've mixed my plaster to the right consistency, I'm going to use my hawk for the ease of applying the plaster to the external corner and I'm also going to use the trowel. Starting in the middle and working your way down. Taking any excess off the outer edge and the other edge and then coming up from the bottom. making sure that you've gone down past your architrave line and then we start from the top. So now we'll start on the other side at the bottom working our way up. Now that our first coat's dry, we're ready to scrape it back using a six inch stripper. We'll scrape it back all the way so it's nice and smooth for the second coat. Now with this second coat, you go a little bit wider than what's here in the first coat. At least three quarters of the trowel, trowel length, and then it'll be ready for top coat. Now that I've done one side of the reveal, we're ready for the face. Remembering, when we put the mud on, to hold the trowel 45 degrees away from the uh, side that you've already troweled, like so. Now we're ready to top coat. It's the same process as your second coat, except a little bit wider. 
When the top coat's dry, it's ready to sand and paint. And it's as easy as that, job done.